Alright. <laughs> How you doing? Or this is Ross Rhodes, foreclosure and eviction fighter, who successfully won a loan modification from Wells Fargo. We're here at Larry Fox Eviction. Um, how are you doing, Ross? Oh, I'm doing fine, but, you know, I'm filming for Larry because of this tragedy that's going on today. It's a crime. That's what's going on right now. Wells Fargo, you know, it's it's their, this predator lending that they have done and not standing up and taking the, uh, what we should call the... Uh, taking the doggone blame for what they've done. You know, pushing the buttons where they're saying, well, if you look at it, it's like a Jekyll and Hyde. You look on TV, they talk about all the good things that they're doing and how they're putting money into the community. But then when you look on the other side, they're evicting seniors, evicting disability people. Right now, right now, Larry, he's disabled and they're putting him out of his own home that he's been here for so long. It's a tragedy and it needs to be uh, something done about this. It needs to be, the answers need to be, we need to fight harder for our people that are in this foreclosure fight that to save their homes and for others that are standing outside and don't know what to do. Yeah. This is a battle that's for all the people. But I right heard now, I heard that um, the Fox family was the first black family to move into this neighborhood here, Diamond Heights neighborhood in San Francisco. That's what makes it such a tragedy. The yeah. first black family to move here in this Diamond Hikes area, and then the first one to be evicted because they're trying to make a better life for themselves, mm -hmm. and were brought in was cons came into their lives in the lending market, and represented Wells Fargo, represented uh, Wachovia, represents uh, Bank of America, it represents uh, these lenders that were coming into these communities going after seniors. Disabled people and minorities. Mm -hmm. That was their target. Mm -hmm. And they came in and they devastated the communities where they put these predator loans out there. Really, when you look at the big picture, they devastated the economics of, uh, of America mm -hmm. because they did it all over the United States. Mm -hmm. And when we talk about the problems that we're having now with the financing and, and, and uh, jobs and all this, this all relates to the housing market. Mm -hmm. You know, when people are losing their homes, they're losing jobs, they're mm -hmm. losing opportunities. Mm -hmm. They're relocating families. They're putting people out in the streets. Mm -hmm. And then they're turning around and reselling their properties. People that have equity of you know over two hundred thousand dollars are losing their equity in their home, and the bank seems like it's no problem. Um, you know, we'll, we'll just put them out and resell it again. Mm -hmm. So they track people, they double dip on the people's homes, they, they they collect money for the default, and then they turn around and sell a house, and that's making more money. So that's double dipping. Yeah. You know, and then they they sit back and they give these bonuses to the CEOs and and to their stockholders and and get on TV and and try to make it like they're really trying to do something for the new group of people that they want to pull in and and this time they want to offer them money to come in and and uh, get a mortgage, mm -hmm. you know, and mm -hmm. it's just like I said, the Jekyll and Hyde effect. Mm -hmm. It's you know they're going to show a good side on TV, but all the time they were criminal on the other side. Yeah. And these actions that they did and these things that they're doing today, well, we're here fighting for Larry Falk. You know, it's it's an outrage, and you know we need to have the Obama administration step up. Mm -hmm. We need them to step up. Mm -hmm. You know, I know they're fighting battles in the work market, and they're fighting battles all over the place with these Republicans. But you know what? We need to look at what's really affected America was the housing crisis. Mm -hmm. This housing crisis, when when the Bush administration deregulated it, it went crazy. It, you know, it was just another deregulation like they did when uh, Ronald Reagan was in office with the air traffic controllers, mm -hmm. you know, and now they're going after unions. They're telling unions, uh, people, that they don't have to join a union, you know, because, uh, you, you know, and you still can be represented, you know, and so it's just another form of busting. These people, that 1% is diligently, diligently working hard to keep the middle class, the poor, the hungry and the wants, the people that want something out of life down. Mm -hmm. so they can keep creating the wealth that they're creating. Money that they can't take with them when they pass on, but they can pass it on to their offsprings. Mm -hmm. And most of the offsprings, you know, apples don't fall far from the tree. Mm -hmm. They become just like them. Those that are unfortunate mm -hmm. become just like them. Mm -hmm. So I'm out here just to show my support and show that, you know, I am a concerned American because, you know, it's an American crisis.
And it can only happen here in America, mm -hmm. where we don't give a damn about our seniors, we don't give a damn about our disabled, we don't give a damn about the 99%. Mm. We just look at wealth, money, and power. Mm. Amen. Thank you. Oh, Thank man. you. I went a little too long. I know. No, it was that was great.